Hi. So I wanted to um, more thoroughly go over exactly what I see. There was a there was something called the Remonstrance, and it was five points of Arminianism, and there was a council uh, synod of Dort that came against this, and they fought over this. This was debated hotly. And it wound up that, 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 that many people were, um, were anathematized. So I want to just explain something to you. First off, when I came to Christ, I didn't come to Christ. God opened my eyes. I was blind. The Holy Spirit had to open up my eyes to see Christ. People are walking around today as blind as bats. I can give people the gospel all I want. They're dead. They cannot see the gospel. You can give people a choice all you want. If they're dead, if their eyes are blind to it, they can't see it. This is every time uh, I talk to people about the gospel, it's not a resistance so much of the gospel. It's a totally total blindness to the gospel. People cannot see it. They're unable to see it. They're blind. The mind of the spirit can only understand the things of the spirit. The mind of the flesh can only understand the things of the flesh. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot see. You are blind. You are unable to accept anything that you cannot accept because you are blind. If the Holy Spirit does not open up your eyes to see the truth, you cannot see it. That's that's exactly what it was for me. I had asked God, he gave me three pennies, but I didn't follow him at the time. It was many years later when I asked God, well, what's, what's the difference between this book? And I opened up the book and I read a passage in the scriptures and it said the stone the builders re rejected has become the head of the corner. And somehow, by a spirit, not by, not by me choosing anything, my eyes were opened and I believed. I mean, I was like, oh. There was no resistance. There was no, oh, gee, well, now you know, and now you choose God. No, the love of God came in my heart, and I knew him. So the, the idea here that, that um, I chose him when I was blind was impossible. I had to have my eyes opened. But when my eyes were opened, there was no possible way that I could, when I understood that God loved me, there was no possible way for me to choose to love him or not love him. That was That's just ridiculous. God took out the, the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh. If God put in a heart of stone again or left that heart of stone in there, I could resist that. But God put in a heart of flesh. God opened my heart. God gave me open heart surgery and changed my heart. And I loved him. This was a work that God did. I did not change my own heart. Any person who says that they choose God, they change their own heart. And God didn't do a work within them to open their eyes, to, to take away their blindness, resurrect them from the dead because they were dead as a zombie, and put a new heart within them that, beat, that beats for him. God performed uh, a resurrection in me from the dead. He took away my dead eyes and opened up the truth to me otherwise you could give me the gospel all day long and at that point my choice will always be and ever be no and I've seen this because I've given the gospel logical, logically to enough people who were blind that I could see that there was no possible way that I could keep telling a dead man to live it was only if God had, had prepared their heart and then open their eyes that a dead man would see after I, for, for me to give them the gospel. So when I was saved, it had nothing to do with me choosing God. God chose me from the beginning of time to open up my eyes, to take away my blindness, to take me out of darkness and put a new heart within me. That new heart is not resisting grace. The grace is irresistible, the eye and tulip. Why is it irresistible? Because my heart was changed by God. God works within me. He's, his spirit works within me with groanings. It's the work of the Holy Spirit that preserves me. The perseverance of the saints is the preservation of the saints. The perseverance comes from God's spirit working within me. 
if God's spirit works within me, then, then, then he has changed my heart. Now, there's a lot of people that may walk away from God, whatever it is, but when, when God gets a hold of me, he's working in my life and working in my heart the whole time. His spirit is doing its work, he's, and he's holding me. Otherwise, I would run away from him. If my heart, if I, if my heart was not changed, then I would, I would walk away from God. But I know I don't because I know that He's holding me. He's got me in His hands. He has had me in my hand, in His hands since the beginning of time, and He chose at a certain time to open up my eyes and take away my blindness so I could see the truth. There was no accepting or rejecting or or choice that I had. It was immediately thank you for having mercy upon me. So it does not depend on the will of man, nor on how he runs or his good works, or his choice. It depends on God who shows mercy by opening up your eyes. That is what happened to me. My eyes were opened. There was no, do you have a choice? I was like, thank you. <laughs> I'm saved. <laughs> it was not, oh God, I, I, I'm given the gospel, I'm going to choose. No, the gospel goes out to the whole world, to a whole bunch of blind people who can't see it, and they don't choose him unless their eyes are open. So God works in our hearts to open up our hearts to see the gospel so that we can accept it. And he did that before the beginning of time. He knows his children. That is the truth of the scriptures. Jesus' call went out into the whole world. But the effect of the call was to save those who had their eyes open to see it. That's what happened. Now many people will argue with it. I really don't care. Because I know that I didn't choose God. That he chose me. I didn't make a decision that, oh, see, you have the gospel now. You have eternal life in Jesus Christ. Or you have or you have uh, uh, damnation. Which one do you want? No, it was like this. I'm Jesus. Know me. Ah, I know who God is now. As soon as I knew. See, when you look at the idea of believe, what does it say? What must you do to be saved? Believe. I couldn't believe in God unless he opened my eyes. I'm blind. I'm dead. I can't have faith unless faith is given to me. You can't make me choose faith. Faith is something that, is, that a blind man can't have. It must be put in me. The mind of the Spirit knows the mind of the Spirit. And when that mind of the Spirit it comes in you, that's faith. That's what it is. That's what it always was. Uh, some people don't like that. They want to try to change it. That's the truth. The fact of the matter is I was given eyes to see. And I was given a heart to hear and ears to hear. I had no, there was no rights that I had. I had no say in it. I, 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 I didn't go, oh, now I make a decision. No, my eyes were open. The decision, the, my heart was changed. God changed my heart. He didn't say, you have a choice. He said, here's my mercy. I said, thank you. God bless.